Now, We 31 Storm Tracker Meteorologist Carson Meredith with 31 Triple Dollar. You go, boy. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I didn't expect that. <laughs> I know, I was waiting to hear about rain uh -huh. or something like that. I just feel like we say it so much, I, I know. try something different. Yeah. What did you say? I sounded like a little while back, like a parrot just saying the yeah, same yeah, thing yeah, every day. I, I'm, I'm going to slap that parrot off my shoulder. <laughs> so do I. We are uh, tracking that chance for more showers and storms today. But fortunately, the rest of this week looks a bit drier than what okay. we've seen right. the last couple of weeks. We'll take anything we can get. Let's yeah. talk about those weather headlines. We look ahead to this week. We do indeed, though, have that chance for showers and storms as we go through this afternoon. I'm not expecting any severe severe weather today, but you know the drill with these summertime storms. We're going to have to watch out for some heavier rain and a good bit of lightning as well. Now this is one of those days too where some of you may not see a drop of rain, but some of you could see a downpour that lasts 30 to 45 minutes as well. By the middle part of this week, really starting Tuesday afternoon, we'll start to dry things out. A couple of dry days, as a matter of fact, and those temperatures will be pretty seasonable. However, as we get towards Memorial Day weekend, the heat starts to come back and so does that humidity. This morning is pretty comfortable. That's the view of the SkyCam network. We'll call it more clouds than sun, but those temperatures are fairly comfortable. Waking up in the low 60s as you head out the door. 31 triple Doppler is quiet. It will stay quiet for your morning commute, but starting around noon or one o'clock today, those storm chances will start to pick up. Again, some of you will not see a drop of rain today. Some of you could see a couple of thunderstorms. Highest storm chances will be late this afternoon, 3 to 4 o'clock onward. High temperatures today in the lower 80s. And while everybody could see a few storms today, the area of highest rain chances, if you will, will be west of I-65. Let's go through future radar. This morning is nice and quiet, but as we go through the afternoon, you see those downpours popping up, especially in northwest Alabama. Heavy downpours and lightning, the main threats to watch. Showers and storms will continue as we get towards 6 o'clock this evening. Overnight tonight, we will still be tracking a few showers, not expecting much in the way of storms overnight tonight, and the highest rain chances overnight will be in our southern county. So let's say you live down near Collinsville, Geraldine, Albertville, Boaz, Falkville, Hartzell, you have the highest chance to see those showers overnight tonight. We'll keep those showers in the forecast throughout your Tuesday morning commute as well. Might need an extra couple of minutes heading out the door tomorrow, but eventually this system that's responsible for the rain chances today and tonight will start to move to the east towards Georgia and the Carolinas, and that means by Tuesday afternoon we're looking pretty dry, mostly cloudy, but mostly dry by Tuesday afternoon. Gardening forecast this week might want to hold off on watering today because we're tracking those storms this afternoon and we saw a good dose of rain on Saturday as well. But by the middle part of this week, we're going to dry things out. Next rain chance doesn't come your way until Friday and even so it's a pretty small chance for those spotty showers as we wrap up the work week. And as we head into the holiday weekend, mostly dry for now. Keep in mind, we're still four or five days away from the holiday weekend, so a lot's going to change. We'll keep a small chance for a couple of showers Saturday. The big story, though, is that heat and humidity building back in. We're in the upper 80s for the holiday itself next Monday. And as you look at the 10-day forecast, you bet we're making a run for 90 degrees once we come back from the holiday next Tuesday and Wednesday. One thing I'll also mention, forecast models really struggling with whether or not we'll have any showers for the holiday weekend. So for now, now we kept most of the weekend dry, but of course that could still change as we get closer to the holiday. Well, we're keeping our fingers crossed right. that it will hold off. Absolutely. Right? I'm just stunned we're already talking about Memorial Day. Right? Yeah, yeah it's going by fast. Yep. All right. Thank you, Carson.